Hi, my name is Florian Kohler. Here with me is Jamie Letts. Uh, the last few months went over all the basics of pool, and by now you have a pretty good idea how to play pool. So today we're going to show you how to rack and break in a few different games of pool. All right, so to rack in a pool, especially in A-ball, it's actually pretty easy. It's not as complex as people would think. All you need to do is have three different balls. So let's say I have a stripe here. I cannot have three stripes at the very top at the edge of the triangle. So here we got a stripe and two solid, that's fine. Next thing you gotta look is if there's not a line with same color again. So let's say, you know, you have a stripe, stripe, that's no good. So you just wanna have stripe and solid. In this case, you know, we got every pretty good. So just make sure that the eight ball is in the center while the top, the ball from the summit of the triangle is on the dot. So usually it's marked with this thing here. So it varies from pool, sometimes a little cross, sometimes a dot, sometimes a big mark like that. And really the big thing is uh, you wanna make sure your rack is really solid. So Jamila did it pretty good. So what you wanna do to have a good rack is to really push the balls tight together, try to find your spot and make sure there's no gap, especially in between the two of the three balls at the front right here. So this is a typical game of eight ball. Again, you know, there's multiple rules for multiple countries, and, but this is the most commonly played rule here. Um, again, so for the break shots, all you gotta do is basically put the cue ball behind the line. I like personally when I play eight ball to put the white ball here. So it's not exactly in the center table, it's a little bit to the right, but you could do the same thing a bit to the left. And I'm gonna aim full into the, the one ball here. Because I'm on an angle, it's gonna help me control my cue ball and also it's gonna spread the balls a little better. Uh, one thing to know about, especially when you're breaking eight balls, is um, we usually have what we call a break cue. So a break cue is about the same size as a plank cue, maybe slightly shorter, just like this, but the tip is of a harder material. Uh, it's also phenolic usually, it's very hard, and the shaft is the same thing, very hard too. It's gonna help you uh, hit the ball harder and with less effort. So I'm from there. My goal here is to aim it to the one ball. So from my knowledge, I'm gonna either try to make the one ball on the side, that I want to the side, or have a couple balls going in the corner or a few rail shots here. You can really predict the break once you work a lot on it, but at this point, all we're gonna do is just try to shoot this ball here and try to keep the cue ball in the middle of the table. So I'm gonna try to show you, get, show you that. I'm gonna play a little bit of follow on the hit and again try to just aim the one ball. Just like that. So we made one ball. My white ball got kicked a little bit, but we're okay, we still got a shot. Um, this is basically what a game of A ball starts with. So I'm gonna try to show you the break in a better way. So if you don't mind racking them up again. So I want to try to show you exactly what you're supposed to do when you're racking eight ball. All right, so let's try that again. Let's really watch the white ball. And I'm really going to try to keep it in, when I call the middle of the table, I cut from here to here. It's basically the, you know, the best angle for you to leave your white ball at. Do it again. And again, you know, it got kicked, but it was pretty good. And look at where I end up. I'm basically in the middle of the table. Again, this is a good break. You got all the balls, they all spread. You can attack either the solids here or, well, you're basically on the solids here in that case. But anyway, so, you know, the break is very important. You got to have, um, there's not really many explanations for the break. It's very, just a, a very powerful shot. You're going to have to try to follow through as much as possible. If you have a little back leg coming up, it doesn't hurt to, you know, help the power as well. Um, some people like to use a heavier break cue to get more power. On my side, I try to rely more on the speed of my stroke, so it's a lot of, you know, a very fast release of the backstroke, and really try to hit the ball as hard as possible, but with control, always try to control the white ball in the middle of the table. Um, now that we've run over eight ball, which is probably the most popular game of pool, we're gonna try to go over a nine ball game. Nine ball is, is pretty much the second most popular game of pool right now. It's, got, it's really got some momentum from TV in the last few years. Uh, it's a little bit of a different game. It's a more uh, attacking game, a little more complex, I guess. Uh, I'll say if you're a seasoned player, it's a great game for you to play. 
To rack it, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is put the one ball on the spot, same thing as the eight ball game, but it's gotta be the one ball. And then, you know, you're gonna have the same thing, make a tight rack. And in this case, we're gonna have the nine ball in the middle. Apart from these two requirements, usually you don't really need anything else. Uh, some tournaments, they ask you to put the two ball at the back or the back row so you can control the rack, but that's basically it. So I'm gonna go over it and I'm gonna show you how to break this now. So while in eight ball, you break from the center of the table or close to the center, in nine ball, you're gonna break from the side. So I like to break on the left side, but you could do the exact same thing on the right side. And I really have an objective in this game is to make the corner ball here. So I'm gonna shoot the cue ball into the one ball and try to make force that six balls right here. Now if that doesn't work, I know there's several other options, especially to go around to go here. And there's also a few options to make a ball in either this pocket or this pocket. So I'm gonna try to show you these guys. I like to use a little bit of uh, draw, actually quite a bit of draw. Get into the one ball and force it into the six. All right, so that's a pretty good break in nine ball. So I got my wing ball that went in, which was the six ball, so it's the one I'm trying to make. My cue ball is not too bad, it's kind of in the middle. I have a touch on the, I can see the one ball, so basically I can start the game. This so was just a quick way to show you how to break and, and rack in several different games. But mainly the good thing about, the big thing about breaking is sometimes you don't have to break as hard as you think. You know, I always hear people, they try to break, you know, 30 miles an hour. Sometimes it's not the point. Sometimes, you know, even a soft break, as long as it gets all the requirement needed and you know any ball past the center of the table and stuff like that it's better because the main thing in a break shot is if you can control the cue ball and leave your cue ball in the middle of the table then you have a lot more chances to run up okay hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for our next episode and make sure to check out bulldog.com and don't forget to subscribe to my channel click right here